Good morning, folks. NOAA's Environmental Visualization Lab showing images of the rim fire via the VIRS instrument. We're now 80% contained. NASA's Earth Observatory showing Rokatenda a month ago. Focus between those lines to notice a new pyroclastic outflow present now at the Indonesian Rumbler. Speaking of volcanoes, 1,000 miles east of Japan, Google Earth shows subtle variations under the sea, but we've just learned that this elevated region, about the size of New Mexico, is actually one giant underwater volcano. In fact, it's the largest on Earth. Gotta pull this link, guys. Some of those surface features down there look very interesting. Off to the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee for a hurricane model forecast output. Gabrielle is weak and headed generally north. Something interesting as Lorena approaches Baja, she's stealing moisture from the Gulf Rainmaker and sending it straight north. This evening again sees the northwest U.S. taking far worse storms than normal. Only other watch over here occurs where you have a counterclockwise driving low pressure system up in Canada driving the same direction where it meets that clockwise forcing high pressure system. Their reinforcement gets southern heat and moisture way further north than normal to mix for thunderstorms mostly north of the border today. Other top watch is the dip Euro low pinched off over the UK. It is setting storms on the southeast leading convergence across a number of European nations. No solar flaring. And look at the sun. As her magnetic shut down, so do the sunspots. Got them departing and incoming on the sides, but nothing earth facing. Now this will be tough to see, but we took a significant density spike around 400 UTC this morning. I realize it's nearly impossible to catch just above the second dotted line, but let me mess with the light a bit. Should stand out right there around 150 to 200 protons per cubic centimeter. I'd love to confirm, but SOHO is missing data there. It'll be back later today, and it looks to have been elevated anyway. Besides, the magnetometers and electron flux show only a very small deviation from normal conditions. The top eruption on the sun last 24 hours was a double, and it came just out of Earth's view behind the eastern limb. Remember, cardinal east-west flips when you're looking at the sun. Speed diagnosis from Cactus reveals this could have damaged satellites if it were headed at Earth, likely lit up the polar regions of Mars and Mercury as they were connected magnetically on the backside near that eruptive position. The most powerful coronal hole on the sun is here. On the heels of what's already the largest uptick in three months, Six straight days of significant earthquakes struck twice more yesterday with the largest in Guatemala. This does combine with the Costa Rica rumble to set this area's watch above the waning north and northeastern Pacific from earlier in the week. That same buoy is taking 60 to 80 meter swings south of the Aleutians. Watch score holding at 50% uptick likelihood until the massive opening directly faces Earth. Shots of our star to close, eyes open. No fear at 6.45 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe everyone.